This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So coming up in this video We have two things in particular that we want to talk about uh, The first one is basically a continuation of a video that we would have done before Where we spoke about England touring the West Indies So CWI they actually announced earlier today the tour operators So we're going to go through that article and we're going to be um, reviewing the, the, the schedule and things like that and there's also an article here, um, it was actually Marlon that brought it to my attention here. You guys know Marlon that is always on the live. You know, so I'm going to be reading bits and pieces of that article because it is actually ripping through the CWI selectors. Letting them know that they are, they are, they are actually doing pure stupidness, pure foolishness. And it's just an old, boy, an old boys club. So I'm going to be taking a look at that. But before we go down into any of that, I'm just going to ask you if you are new on the channel and you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. You can also make sure that you leave a like and drop a comment so as to be notified when we put out videos. Alright, so the first thing that I want to look at my viewers and subscribers is uh, I'm actually on the CWI website. I am seeing here where they are talking about the England tour. And they are talking about the tour operators and things like that. So we 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 just gonna we just gonna I just gonna read through some of it. So on their website they have the headliner CWI announces official tour operators and licensed ticket partners for England tour of the West Indies. It says Cricket West Indies today confirmed the official tour operators and licensed ticket partners for England's T20 international and test tours to the West Indies in 2022. Uh, it says a number of trusted and experienced tour operators have partnered with CWI along with some new tour operators who are experienced in providing major sport tours around the world. So there you have it my viewers, some confirmation coming forward. Um, in terms of the fans booking now, they are saying fans will be able to book from a range of attractive tour packages covering every um, permutation of T20 international and test fixture, fixtures, enabling fans to assess um, preferred tickets and inherit adv um, advice of the general sale of tickets to the, uh, to the wider public. Right, they went on to say the West Indies versus England five-match T20 international series takes place at the Kingston o uh, sorry, Kensington Oval in Barbados from January 22 to the 30th, 2022. So there you have it, guys. You can mark that date on your calendar um, from January 22 to the 30th, 2022. Um, you know, we will be we will be having that. And they say including two weekends of back-to-back -back matches offering sun-soaked action packed um, start to the year. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, as they say, it's going to be a busy, busy year. So, you know, we, we're going to keep an eye on that. Now, the article, it went on to say, this will be followed by the three test matches in March, which will uh, renew one of Cricket's greatest rival, rivalries, dating back to close to 100 years. They say the, uh, the, arch, the arch rivals will compete for the first time for the newly uh, minted Richards Botham Trophy, named in honor of legend Sir Richard, Vivian Richards, and um, Ian Botham. And we know those guys are said to be very good friends. Let me read some more of it. Um, it says the test, the test series opens appropriately at the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua from March 8 to 12, followed by, by the second test at the historic Kensington Oval from March 16 to 20th, and then Grenada National Stadium from March 24 to 28th. And they say all three test matches are part of ICC World Test Championship. So points will definitely be up for grabs, my viewers and subscribers. So we, we're definitely going to want to try and see if we can um, secure victory in a couple of those, right? And we, are, we have some more stuff there. But if you want to see, the, if you want to um, know what exactly 
is being said in terms of the full details you can check it out on their website CWI website that is we have this um, CWI boss and a couple other persons giving their opinion talking so you can check it out all right my viewers so let me move on to this article that is talking about CWI and how ineffective they are and that they are just a bunch of waste of time and a, and a, and a, and a old boys club right so this article here that i'm seeing it's written by wade gibbons and this this thing seems as if it was taken from the barbados today um website that's what i'm seeing so it starts off and it says um there is perhaps nothing more pathetic than listening to west indies captains trying to speak positively after an ending defeats right <laughs> so you know how a captain stay after an ending defeats but if only but if one really wanted to find ineffectiveness dressed in finery one need not look any further than the present cricket west indies administration so first things first they let you know that the administration doing pure crap right so they said they i'm not going to read it word for word my viewers and subscribers i go i just going to pick out a couple of things because it's very long they are saying that the organizations and the, the hierarchy everybody hopeless hopeless here we see a quotation where they say um um it's just a mere form of old boys club philosophy and when one does not play ball with the boys one can expect backlash even from regional prime ministers and they spoke about two prime ministers in particular that um, you can you can expect to to hear them wheeling their tongues as if they are um, you know as if they they are right up there. Now, what I tell them of you as subscribers, it's a whole lot of things. I see what they say in sports, like most endeavors, discipline, consistency, accountability, performance, and commitment are paramount. One must question whether the present administration. And many of the cricketers who have been res res um, resurrected by CWI have, tick have ticked all or any of these boxes. So we're talking about discipline, we're talking about consistency, we're talking about hard work and all of that. So they are wondering if, um, if they have ticked these boxes, right? We see where they, they, they take a quote from, from um, former Wendy's owner, Phil Wallace, right? They say he hit the proverbial nail on the head. Um, when he recently accused CWI of basically ceding control of West Indies cricket to the players. So basically giving, letting the players have a whole lot of say instead of them running it and letting the, um, the players do what needs to be done or what they need to do. A whole lot of things, my viewers and subscribers. I tell you, I see CWI and I, I am not sorry for them, you know, my viewers and subscribers, because at the end of the day, you know, they, they, they are not really doing things in in the way in a way that us as fans would be happy with and i know they're not going to be able to please everybody but good gosh man if they were if they were doing such a such a wonderful job i am almost certain that you wouldn't have so many persons coming out and trying to to, to say this and that about them so it's very interesting my viewers and subscribers i <laughs> i'm going to be keeping a close a close ear to this one to see how it turn out you know because um when our organization comes under so much um, pressure you know more often than not they are forced to make um to make they are forced to actually see if they can make changes and step it up and then probably they will lapse again and and, and return to the state of of um sort of complacency but yeah my viewers and subscribers i go hopefully while i'm making this video the plan is to try and see if i can um the plan is to try and see if i can post the link to this article in the comment section and pin it so you know Hopefully when I'm editing, I don't, I don't forget. But if you make it to the end of the video and you want to see the article and it's not posted in the link, just type it in the comment section and I will make sure to go back and post it and pin it. But we're going to leave it right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. This one, this one is a whole lot. Once again, shout out to Marlon. Big thank you for, um, big thank you for sending, sending this, um, this, this thing to me. I, I, I didn't actually see it, you know. I, I read it in its entirety. But I, I am not even going to try and read out everything on the on the live on the um on the video here. So I'm going to post it the, the link for the, for this. So if you guys want to take a look at it, you can look at it. So I'm gonna leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Big up on yourself.